Well, I can't imagine him doing anything else, you know. Imagine, let me go for a job. What have you been doing for the past, you know, all your life? What See, there's no ring. pretense with Lemmy. I mean, you would have, they would have, the fans would have seen through him by now, but that's yeah. him. What yeah. you see is what you he get to the thing, and I think yeah. that's what yeah. is the appeal. He is Lemmy. He is, yeah. The whole package, the whole deal. Mm -hmm. Do I remember interviewing Lemmy? God, yeah, I remember falling downstairs outside the White House in Great Portland Street uh, after a significant amount of alcohol had been consumed uh, doing an interview with Lemmy. I remember falling out of his apartment in um, Los Angeles after a, a bottle of Jack Daniels was consumed prior to the interview. God knows what it sounded like on air. Most of it I probably cut out and just played music. I, do I remember interviewing Lemmy? Oh, yes, I remember interviewing Lemmy. And I enjoyed every second of it. He's a, a very articulate man. He's intelligent, he's highly skilled, highly intelligent man. He's, he's an icon to me. Yeah, I hang out with him every so often. I mean, I just run, in, run into him at places and he's just, He's just one of those kind of guys that's uh, um, honest and you know sincere and doesn't put on any airs or anything. He just is himself and, and very cordial. You know, very cool. Likes to have a drink. I love to, I love drinking with him, and that could be any hour of the day or night. And uh, he's just he's in this business. He's one of the genuine, uh, you know, genuine guys out there. That's you know, no mess, no fuss. I often look at Lemmy and think that there is no logical reason for him to, to, to have made it this far, given the lifestyle that he leads, uh, which is, you know, it's, it's non-stop. But you sit back and you think about it and it suddenly makes sense. Here is a guy who simply lives his life and enjoys his life and does what he does. Doesn't think too far ahead doesn't look too far back, doesn't get stressed out because, you know, due to that, and suddenly it all makes this wonderful, beautiful sense. He's a stress-free, hard-living rock and roller. He was born to be that. Of course he's still alive. Does it make sense for what he's, uh, you know, the, how he's lived his life over the years? No. But, for, you know, psychologically it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, there are times when I think he's possibly the child of aliens. Because, I mean, he has been doing this now, to my knowledge, living almost exactly the same way from 1969. So what is that? That's... I mean, that's, you know, that's... Is that 45 years, 35 years? I don't know. It's just been going on so long. I mean, frankly, if I kept up that lifestyle, I'd be dead. And so would most people. I have absolutely no idea how he keeps on doing it. No idea whatsoever. It seems like a physical impossibility, but... Uh, but he does it, you know. He's got a strong constitution. That's what he always says yeah. anyway, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, very. And he, of course, he's got his daily tonic yeah. that he takes, isn't he? Well, the bourbon. Well, that and, and well. everything <laughs> else, yeah. yeah. In fact, well, last year when I was talking to him, uh, last time we saw him, he was saying, you haven't given up drinking, have you, Kim? And I went, no. And he goes, because all these people that give up things, they just drop down dead. <laughs> and it's true, actually, because he says, I think that's his secret. Yeah. Because he just carries on. He says, he's going, yeah, because all these people that sort of give up this, that and the other, then like a year down the line, there's something wrong with them, you know. Well, your body goes into shock, yeah, I think I think Lemmy's body would go into shock yeah, if he had stopped right. everything So tomorrow. I think his philosophy is just keep going. It's preserving him. Yeah. Of course, you know, you can sit there of an evening with Lemmy and he'll easily drink his way through a bottle of, of Jack, you know, which most people obviously would either be on the floor or probably dead, you know, if they attempted that. And I think the thing about Lemmy is that he... You know, he has built up this incredible resistance, but he also knows his own limits. You know, he doesn't um, he doesn't just go uh, bananas every night. It's a sort of... I think he reaches a plateau of, of lemmitude, if you will, and uh, he, just, he, just, he just knows how to get there, you know, in a measured way. And um, that's the thing about him. It's like, you know, whereas a number of people have fallen by the wayside over the years, He's just one of those guys who still does everything that's bad for you, but he knows how to control it. <laughs> I think a lot of doctors would like to know that one. Um, I don't know. I think it's the spirit of the mind. He's a very, very strong... He's got a very strong character, and I think he'll always do what he wants to do, so... There aren't many people like him around, and I think... I've got a lot of respect for Lemmy.
Len makes the best of what he got. He's honest with it. Um, and he believes in what he does. Um, he's given me a few bits of advice since I've known him. Very, very good advice too. Uh, it's like, never die ashamed. Don't be ashamed of what you've done kind of thing. And, and kind of be honest in a, <laughs> you know, funny kind of way. Uh, but yeah, he, he stands up for what he believes in. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll say what he means. And that's cool. You, you kind of know where you are with them. And, uh, I respect. He's, he's my mate. I don't look. I see. I don't see him as Lemmy from Motorhead. You know. Um, although I respect what he does, of course. But we're, we're friends. We're, we're very good friends. So, and I respect him as a person, and he does me, and we, we get on great. But uh, yeah, he's a he's a worthwhile guy. The young Lemmy. Well, I got on wonderfully well. I used to share a room with him. You see, on tours. You know. I mean, there's so many different stories that I could tell. But uh, yeah, I like Lemmy. He was a great character. You know. Yeah, we're both of us pretty loud. I mean, I'm a bit deaf in my right ear, you know, because I used to have a big stack. So, uh, you know, I'm probably Lemmy's a bit deaf, I should imagine, by now. <laughs> well, you must know. Did you shout at him when you interviewed him or not? <laughs> he ought to come out the other end of it as Sir Lemmy Kilminster. I mean, Elton John and Cliff Richard and blah, blah, blah. You know, why not Lemmy, for Christ's sakes? He's existed as long as these people. He's as good as these people as determined, he's as British as these people, and he's, you know, made a lot of money for this country down, down the line, and brought us a lot of respect in, in, in the arena within which he's functioned. Ma American bands really respect him. They respect what he does musically and what he's achieved as a man. And I think he ought to be recognized by, go on, Elizabeth, get one out the drawer. Give it to Lemmy, dear. <laughs> you know, in a sense, he's almost a martyr in a way, you know, because he, he stops at nothing and, and, and does his thing and, and pulls no punches and just, yeah, no matter what happens, obviously, he's always remained Lemmy. The message that Lemmy, I think, has always given people is get off your fat ass and do something. Don't lose sight of your dream. Go for it. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very profound message if you just take it out of everything else, the noise, the excitement of the music. It's a very profound message, and it's damn true. Don't deviate. Go for it. Whatever you do, lawyer, curate, I mean, whatever. Don't deviate. Keep going. Lemmy said something very interesting to me recently. Uh, it was rega with regards to Ace of Spades, you know, and, I, uh, and regards to, to actually this programme. And we were talking, and I said, wow, it must be quite something you know, to be doing a programme about this record. It must be really exciting. And he said, well, it's very, it's, it's nice. He said, but remember, he said, people's perception of something is always different to your reality of it. And it's an interesting take, you know. People have all, it, it basically explains a lot about Lem. The perception of Lemmy has always been a little different to who this guy is, and we go back to this badass, like, nasty dude, you know? That's a perception. That's <laughs> not true. You know, Lemmy has a really copious bag of tricks. He listens to an awful lot of... He listens to Joni Mitchell, for Christ's sake, you know? There's a lot of John Lennon in him. There's the trick of having the mic a little bit too high, so he constantly has to produce a voice from out of here, you know? And it works, and also it saves his voice, he claims, you know? And, um... He's got amazing stamina. You know, he absorbs ideas. I mean, I, I genuinely remember at times when it's like, mm, life's getting a bit, oh, oh dear, oh dear, the girlfriend's buggered off for the furniture or whatever. Um, and the, the programme is not sounding that good. My voice is a bit strained tonight, blah, blah, blah. I know what I'll do. I'll bang in a Lemmy track and liven us all up. And I, I used to genuinely do that. And it used to it liven me up and I liven the audience up, liven the show up. I, I, I don't like people who are like, you, you know, people who are stupid by design. You know, going, you know, I like, got no time for that, man. I'm not trying to prove that I'm a man anymore, you know. I know I'm a man, I've got two kids and a dick, you know what I mean? It's easy, you know, we can judge this one, simply take your clothes off and there, it's a guy, right? So I'm not, I don't have to defend that anymore. I don't have to fight people to prove I'm, you know, dominant and bigger muscles and shit like that. I, I've never been interested in that, you know. I'm interested in people meaning what they do and doing what they mean, you know. That's what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in people who say one thing and do another, you know. And there are more and more of them around as, as time goes by, you know.